sedimentary rocks and fossils. Underline or highlight the correct alternative in these sentences about sedimentary rocks. Heat and ice break up rocks in a process called weathering. A river erodes the bottom and sides of its valley. The river deposits sediments on the seabed. Layers of sediments build up on the seafloor in a process called sedimentation. Over time, the bottom layers of sediments become rock. Sediments in sandstone are more coarse grained than in a shale. Limestone is formed of crushed seashells. Fossils are only found in sedimentary rock. How do you know that the rock in the picture is sedimentary rock? It's not crystalline. How could you decide whether it's a limestone or a shale? If it's a shale, I could scratch it and make a mark. How did this rock form? Layers of sediments build up on the sea or lake bed. The bottom layers turn to rock, that's called sedimentation. Is this fossil a mould or a cast? It's a mould. Describe how the fossil forms. The leaf made an imprint in the sediments. Here's a short passage about the West Coast Fossil Park. Today there are a few plants and animals along the southwest coast of South Africa because of the lack of water. For 40 years, there was phosphate mine here. Miners kept finding strange fossilized bones. The museum could not identify the bones as belongings to any animals that live today. Eventually, the mine was closed and the area is now a national heritage site and an open-air museum. Scientists found fossils of more than 200 animals of all dating back to 5 million years ago, when a river flowed through the area to the sea. The climate was hot and wet with big trees, ferns and plants. Scientists have found fossils of huge bears, three-toed horses, different species of elephants and many short-necked giraffes. All these animals are now extinct. They think that some of these animals tried to cross a flooded river and were all drowned. The fast-flowing river washed them downstream where they finally came. To rest on some rocks. As their bodies rotted in the sun, hyenas and vultures feasted until only the bones were left behind. When the flood water subsided, a water hole remained and became a very popular place for all the animals in that area. The sea level rose and the valley flooded once again, submerging the rocks and pools in the salt water. Another layer of sediments was added. This time the sediments was phosphate-rich sand. For the next 5 million years, this collection of bones laid undisturbed making the change from bone to stone. How old are the fossils in the West Coast Fossil Park? They are around 5 million years old. How were the bones of the animals turned into stone? The minerals in the water gradually replaced the bones of the animals. How do scientists know that the fossilized animals are now extinct? They know it because nobody have ever seen any of the animals alive. How is it possible for the scientists to describe the climate, animal and plant life that existed 5 million years ago in this area? The fossils they found were of animals such as elephants and giraffes that need water and trees and lots of vegetation. What type of sedimentary rock were the fossils found in? Phosphate-rich sandstone.